hopefully that can be inspirational uh, to other people. So, um, but I'm driving home. I was in to rush out for traffic, but I'm driving home to a beautiful home with a beautiful wife, a beautiful daughter. Uh, so September 20th, 1984, the uh, Cosby Show premiered, right? September 20th, 1984. 38 years later, uh, exactly, September 20th, 2022, season six of The Resident um, is premiering. <sighs> and... Uh, I'm, I'm in the middle of watching the show. I had to stop the show because the show was like mad emotional, right? I can't even get through it because I got to go to bed and get up first thing in the morning. But I am, um, I just wanted to jump on real quick and just express and just share in the moment my gratitude um, because I'm having, uh, I'm having mad, um, I mean, like a mad emotional moment right now like I'm filled with so much gratitude and uh, I feel blessed I feel lucky uh, I'm very grateful like my whole time on 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 on, on Cosby um, I'd always thought about like life after Cosby my mother made me think about life after Cosby um, and you know I, even at the height of that show I always knew that I wanted to I, I didn't want Cosby show to be like my only thing I wanted to be able to have a life after Cosby I used to say when people used to ask me what's it like being successful um you know like at 15 years old and I would say well you know the show's successful but doesn't mean that I'm successful it won't be until I'm in my 30s 40s 50s still working consistently will I be able to look back and say that I've had a successful career um, and I'm 50 <laughs> I'm in my 50s <laughs> I'm 52 um, but I am first of all I'm, I'm seeing like I'm I'm, I'm getting distracted because I'm seeing like people joining and, and seeing everybody's comments so I'm not ignoring you guys but I'm trying to say what I gotta say um, so I don't get distracted and thrown off because I'm in a moment right now. I'm in a moment of gratitude. I'm just trying to share that. Um, but I feel like, okay, I'm in my 50s. And like I can finally like look back and say that I've had a successful career. Um, because like it's always, you know, a lot of times we get caught up in what's happening in the moment, right? Um, especially as, as artists. So you have a hot song out, a hot TV show, a hot movie. And we'll be like, you know, get caught up in the moment. But you know, don't always think about the future. Um, so I look back at my career and I'm like, wow, I guess I have had a pretty successful career. And that's invigorating. Um, and I'm just in the place right now of, of, of immense gratitude because I'm, I'm, I'm on a wave, right? Like life is about waves. Like, like, you know, life is peaks and valleys. It's ups and downs. Um, you know, they're waves. So I'm always like, ride the waves because this too shall pass. Um, things can be so awesome, but that's a moment. That too shall pass and will be replaced by other moments. Uh, or shit is just like, you know, doesn't feel good at all. You're like in a bad place. Well, this too shall pass as well, right? So like, ride those waves, man, and enjoy those waves. And I'm on a wave right now, which is just, it's... it's I can't say enough how I'm so filled with gratitude because as an artist, uh, I am filled, uh, I'm filled and full like the acting, um, my, my music, um, just everything that encompasses my artistry, the acting, the music. I'm also directing an episode of the resident, um, right now. So I'll get to that too. Um, I've got a record coming out next week. I'll get to that too. But I, and I've been performing, I've been gigging, uh, I've been playing live gigs like once a month since December. So for like almost a year, I've been gigging, um, which is something I've always wanted to do, um, like consistently. <sighs> My family life is beautiful. Uh, that's so fulfilling. 
Uh, I'm just in a really wonderful place, and I want to say thank you uh, to all of you guys who are watching this right now, um, who may watch this later. Um, but my man, uh, Dana Johnson, uh, his wife is Avery Sunshine. Um, I know I know a lot of you know who Avery Sunshine is, but her husband, Dana Johnson, uh, said something to me like months ago, and I use that quote all the time. He said, with the people who f with you, right? Like that's my that that's my thing right now. F with the people f with you, because we spend so much time trying to, you know, get people to to like us or to dig us or people to f with us who ain't really trying to f with us, and we spend too much time uh, with those, you know, giving those people energy. So I'm all about fucking with the people who f with me. So everybody who's here right now, I can't even tell how many people are on here. You see, it's dark and whatnot, right? I'm trying to go to bed. Um, but I wanted to get this out before I go to bed. Um, but, like, thank you uh, for fucking with me. <laughs> thank you for the support. Thank you for the love. Thank you for um, rocking with me through all these years. Thank you for, I know, Avery is amazing, right? Um Thank you for rocking with me and allowing me to grow and um, and expand. And I appreciate all of you guys. Um, I appreciate the beloved creator. I, believe, I appreciate life. Um, I'm just in a really good space and I wanted to share that. And um, just thank all of you for being with me. <laughs> All right, so I'm about to go to bed. I can't even finish watching The Resident because one, the, the show had me. I don't know if you guys got a chance. Chairman on the one, that's funny. Jamming on the one. Jamming, on the one. I don't know if you guys got a chance to watch the show tonight, but like the show is on one right now. It had me like in my feelings and I got to go to bed. I got to get up at five o'clock in the morning and I can't be in my feelings right now. I I'm in my feelings enough. I can't be watching The Resident and be all emotional as a viewer. What's up, Joy? Uh, all right. Um... Oh, see, now I want to say what's up to, like, all my peoples. Oh, gosh. Wyan, what's up? Uh, sexy Black Cinderella, what's up? Um, <laughs> all right, I'll try to go to bed, y'all. But thank you for tuning in. Good night. Um, I can't say enough how much I appreciate you guys. Um, I'll spend the next week talking about my record, but next Tuesday, September 27th, my fourth record uh, will be released. It's called Hiding in Plain View. I'll be promoting it all through the week, but this isn't really about that. This is just really about promoting my gratitude uh, to life, my gratitude to you guys. Um, yeah. And I'm just, I'm on one. <laughs> All right. Good night. Thank you, guys. I love you guys. Um, I remake the Malcolm and Eddie show. Yeah, I think that train has left the station. Uh, Kamal, what's good? What's good, King? Um, oh, what's up, Ben? Oh, Ryan. All right. Okay. Y'all got to have me up in here. Like, say what's up to everybody. Uh, I love you guys. Um, and I need to do more of these lives, right? This is I don't do this enough, but this is kind of dope. Uh, so you guys, are just, you guys have just inspired me to do more of these lives. Anyway, I'm out. I'm signing off once again. I'm sending love, and I'm also receiving the love that you are sending. All right. Um, peace. Good night. I love you guys. I will see you soon. <laughs> and thank you for filling me up tonight because now I can go to bed with a smile on my face um, and uh, feeling the love. All right, I'm out. Peace. Good night. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.